I thought you were going to break our contract. Sorry. I had to get my ducks in a row since this is going to last a while. It's fine. You haven't broken our contract yet. I'm just happy to see you. I'm not so pleased to be here. You'll be fine. You did sign the contract and you were there when we got it notarized. I understand that. I would have done it anyways since I am a man of my word. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> Anywho, it's time for lunch. Then the bet will start. I hope you have a doggone good time. Is that for me? So, this is the last time you'll be sitting and eating like a human, huh? So, what finally made you take the bet? The last game we watched. The Hawks were in the lead the whole game until the fourth quarter. I felt confident they were going to beat the Beavers. Yeah, but I knew the Beavers were going to win, since they always have a trick up their sleeves. The Hawks had no shot. I signed the contract because I thought I'd win. I didn't think you would actually make this legally binding. Ugh, I can't believe this is going to last three full years. Don't worry, pup. I bought a storage unit for all of your things, and I'm going to pay for your student loans and your insurance. I'm going to take care of those things for you. I can't believe you're going to do that. That's what you get for betting against the lawyer. Now, if you're finished with your lunch, you can go watch TV while I go clean the kitchen. Then I'll get your attire for your stay. Domestic cats spend about 70% of the day sleeping and 15% of the day grooming. A cat cannot see directly under its hey, nose. Hey Zeke! You're gonna have a bone of a time wearing this positively awesome suit. Are you barking mad? I can't believe you're gonna make me wear that. Believe it or not, it's yours. Why don't you go be a good boy and go try it on? This thing's really weird to get on. You'll get there. You have to take it on and off many times to take showers and such, so you better get used to it. This looks ridiculous on me. I feel so stupid wearing this. You signed the contract, so you have to wear it. According to Article 3 of Section 2, if you complain anymore, I can add another day to the bed. Fine, okay? I got it on. Come on out, I want to see you. Oh, you look adorable! Oh, this is a good boy. You are Z. Stop. That's embarrassing. Wearing this suit's embarrassing. I am surprised how good it fits me. All this is made especially for you. And there's more to come. Come with me and I'll show you the rest. Sit, Zeke. Good boy. Now that you're sitting, you can relax and you can watch some TV. I'm going to go in the kitchen and get your drink ready. What have I gotten myself into? This is so stupid that I have to be a dog. I do love dogs. I don't want to be one. Oh. I can't believe she made me go to her work and sign that contract. That's what's determining my life. Drinking out of a dog bowl? Ugh. Thank you for coming, even though you had no choice because of the makeshift contract I made and we signed. I told you I was a man of my word. I would have signed it anyway. Well then, we will let you read the contract. There are a lot of rules I want you to read and understand. I want to give you a heads up on what your life is going to be like for the next three years.
This contract for Zeke James Wolf and Jane Marie Reeves is made on July 24th. With this signed contract, Zeke is agreeing to become Jane's dog for three years. Zeke is required to blah blah blah. I don't understand all this mumbo jumbo. I'm just gonna wait till they get in, say I understand, and sign it. I'm just never gonna go along with this. Play some Pokemon. Oh, a Growlithe. Are you daydreaming, boy? No, just reflecting about that contract I signed and giving my life away as a human. Oh, what a good time that was, wasn't it? Anywho, if you get hot under the collar, there's water for you in your dish, but you have to lap it up like a dog. Today, I was going to have you walk on all fours, since you are my dog, but because you just tried the suit on, I'm going to let you walk on two legs. And today is also the only day I'm going to let you sit on the couch. And you're not allowed to talk whatsoever. Okay. What if I do? Then according to Article 4, Section 2 of the contract, I have the right to muzzle you. Muzzle me with what? <laughs> Dogs love bones, right? Yeah, and you're out of your mind. I know I'm crazy. Life is rough, but you'll be okay. One last thing. If you break any of the rules, or if you break the contract, I get to add another day to the overall time. Anyway, try to lay down and get some rest. You have a busy day tomorrow. Have fun! that could be. Why don't you try answering your phone once in a while? My phone's been dead. Haven't you run that excuse into the ground already? My phone has been dead. I have been super busy. I haven't been able to charge it. Tell me the truth. That what, is the truth. What have you been doing all day? Remember, today's the day I caught my dog. Oh yeah, have you taught him to roll over yet? I haven't taught him anything, he's been asleep. Has he? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. Please do. Hey Zeke, I want you to meet my boyfriend, Brick. <laughs> <laughs>